Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be walking through GoodNotes on the iPad together and I'm going to be showing you the general functions and basically just how to get started with making your own notes on this app. Now let's get into the app itself. So the first thing you can do is actually make categories for your notebooks. So you can make a master category, which I'm doing here. And then you can make a subcategory under that master category. And this is where you will be placing all your notebooks. This is a function that's super helpful if you want to organize your courses for school. When you start a new document on GoodNotes, you can either create a brand new notebook or import a file from various sources. So this can be like a PDF that you uploaded to Dropbox or even downloaded from your course website. So then you can import these and then annotate and write on them. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and create a new notebook so you guys can see all the customization options. GoodNotes comes with a great variety of templates that you can use to customize your own notebooks. So for example, there's lots of different notebook covers that you can choose from and also paper templates. One of the nice features is that you can actually add your own customized templates. So you can buy things off Etsy or even make your own and import them into GoodNotes and you can use that as your notebook or notebook cover as well. So now that we've created the notebook, let's take a look at all the tools in the toolbar. So in the first tool here, it gives you a thumbnail view of all the pages in this particular notebook. And in this tool, you can actually rotate your pages to landscape or portrait. And you can also copy the pages and paste them into another notebook. You can also insert pages and import even more files into the notebook once you've already made it. Another thing you can do is move the pages around to reorganize them if you needed to. The next tool allows you to add in several things. So you can import an image, put in a text box, a bookmark, put a new page either above or below the current page, or also import a different file from your storage either above or below the current page. The next tool is a shape recognition tool that allows you to draw shapes effortlessly into your notes. The tool beside it is a zoom window and this allows you to write continuously on the page which I will demonstrate later. And then of course you have your pen tool, your highlighter, your eraser, your lasso tool, which allows you to make selections around things that you've written, and also a read-only mode. There's also a list of options on the right side, which I will briefly go over later in the video. In GoodNotes, you are scrolling horizontally to get to other pages of the notebook, and you also swipe left to add a new page. So see what I'm doing here. You just swipe left and release and a new page gets added. So before I start writing, I just wanted to point out that GoodNotes does support palm rejection. So you can actually rest the palm of your hand right on the screen and it won't interfere with your handwriting. Now a really cool feature is that you can actually let the app know what your writing posture is just by rotating this little figure in the settings. And this is really neat because then the app can then approximate where your palm is likely going to rest and so overall it'll just help you with a smoother writing experience. GoodNotes supports a bunch of other styluses as well, so if you're not using an Apple Pencil and you are using one of these, make sure to select it so that you can optimize your note-taking experience in this app. And if you weren't sure about the notebook cover or the paper template that you chose when you first made the notebook, don't fret because you can still change it while you're taking notes. To start writing, all you have to do is click the pen tool on the toolbar. Tap it again and it'll bring up a screen where you can choose the color and also the thickness of your pen. So in GoodNotes, you have two pen types to choose from. One is the fountain pen, which is pressure sensitive, and the second one is the ball pen, which is not pressure sensitive. So aside from the preset colors in the pen tool, there is also a wide range of colors you can choose from if you just click the custom tab on the bottom. So here you can actually also enter a hex code for a color if it's not on there and you can also enter a custom thickness level as well. So I'm just going to demonstrate what the fountain pen looks like. Next I'm going to demonstrate the ball pen and by the way you can also set your own custom colors as presets if you just press edit and press the plus sign. From there you can choose your own color to put into the presets. So this is the ball pen and again it's not pressure sensitive. The highlighter tool pretty much works the same as the pen with all the customization that you can do. 
What I like about the highlighter is actually when you highlight the text, the highlighter goes under the black ink so it doesn't affect the black ink in any way. Now what I do when I highlight is I also turn on the shape recognition tool. So when you highlight, it'll do it in a straight line for you. This is of course really helpful when you're highlighting online textbooks or other documents that you imported into the app. So the lasso tool can be used to move words or objects or even edit the text a little bit. So just select it and circle around the area that you want to move. And all you have to do now is just drag the selection to the destination of your choice and then tap outside of the lasso to deselect. You can also tap once again on your selection and then press resize and then this will allow you to change the size of your selection. You can also press color and change the color of a certain word. So while we have the text written down here, I'm going to show you another neat feature, which is that GoodNotes has a handwriting search function. And this function allows you to search your own handwritten document. So yes, it'll recognize your handwriting. Any keywords or search terms you're looking for, GoodNotes will populate all the pages containing that search criteria. And this also works in multiple languages, but I'm not going to demonstrate it here just because I don't have any other languages enabled on my iPad. So I'm going to briefly go over the super awesome shape recognition tool. So just select the pen tool and then afterwards select the shape recognition tool. All you have to do now is just draw like a rough approximation of whatever shape you want to draw. And it doesn't have to be neat. It can be pretty messy, but GoodNotes will turn it into that shape for you. This is also really useful for underlining important information or again, like I mentioned earlier, using it with the highlighter. GoodNotes can also transform your written content into text. So to do this, choose the lasso tool and just circle around whatever text you want to convert, tap it, and then press convert. It'll automatically recognize that text for you and you can copy it and then paste it on your notebook, or you can also message it or email it or export it elsewhere. Again, this works for multiple languages, so I'm just demonstrating some Chinese here. But all you have to do is just make sure that when you're doing the handwriting conversion to select Chinese or whatever language you're using as the language that you want to convert to. Now the zoom window comes in handy when you want to be able to write continuously without having to drag the page with your fingers. So when you select the zoom window function, a box will pop up on the notes themselves and also on the lower half of the screen. Start writing in the new window provided for you. As you reach the half point of this window, a blue box will appear on the left side of the screen and that's where you continue writing your sentence. And by doing that, the page essentially auto advances for you. Ultimately, you just get a smoother writing experience. So here is a pro tip for you. You can actually drag the bottom section upwards on the screen and you can then allow your palm to rest on the iPad without forcing your hand off the screen when you're writing. Another great feature is having the ability to drag and drop images. So all you have to do is just pull up, say like Google Images into a multitasking window, find the image that you like and just drag and drop onto GoodNotes. And from there you can resize the image and rotate it and do whatever you like to it. Here's another pro tip. If you want to make your notes look neater, start off with grid paper and then change back to blank paper afterwards. So now I'm going to go over the eraser tool with you. You can either choose to erase full strokes or part of a stroke. So here I'm demonstrating the eraser when you're just erasing a part of a stroke. And I mentioned this in another video that this feature is really good if you're really into illustrations or you have to do a lot of it for school. So if you mess up, you don't have to erase the whole thing and start all over again. And obviously you can just go back into settings and toggle erase entire stroke on, and then you can erase all the strokes at once. So the read only mode has quite an obvious function. However, it's particularly useful if you're a teacher or you do a lot of presentations because you can actually tap on the screen once and you'll notice that the user interface, like the toolbars and everything, they disappear. So if you're mirroring your iPad screen on a projector, you can actually have a clean view for if you're presenting your lesson or some diagrams or a presentation that you made. And all you have to do is just tap once again to get out of it. When you're done your notes, you can actually export it back to whatever storage you use. So like Google Drive, Dropbox, iCloud. You can also print your notes out if your iPad is connected to a printer. 
Last but not least, if you really hate your notes, <laughs> you can actually clear the page entirely just by pressing clear page from the top right corner. Now I'm just going to run through the options and features that are available on this screen. So the template library is where you import any custom templates that you've downloaded off the internet or maybe you made yourself. So once you've imported them into here, you can use them straight away. So next, if you don't want to export your files onto a storage platform, you can also do Wi-Fi file transfer. Basically, it gives you an address that you type in on your computer and then you can download the file from there. There's also options to manually back up all of your notes onto your preferred storage platform. Next, there are some pretty general settings that you can toggle on or off. But what I really wanted to talk about was this thing called Palm Rest. When you toggle this on, on your screen, if you go back to the notebook, you'll notice that there is a new little bar that appears on the bottom. And this is similar to what I was saying about the zoom window. If you find your hand just moving closer to the bottom of the screen and it gets more and more uncomfortable for you to write, all you have to do is just drag that bar up and then you have an area for your palm to rest so that your hand is not falling off the iPad. So the last cool feature in this list is the ability to automatically back up your files. So you just choose whatever storage platform you want to back up your files to and it'll create a folder for you in that storage to automatically back up all of your GoodNotes files. The last thing I want to show you is that you can actually have multiple notebooks open. So if you just press on another notebook, it will automatically open up as a second tab to your first notebook and then you can easily switch between the two whenever you're in one notebook or the other. And of course, this is quite useful if you want to refer to another notebook for some reason. So I think that covers most of it for good notes. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope it gave you a picture of what you can expect if you are to get good notes. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to turn your notifications on so you know when I release the next video. Thanks for watching guys.